everyone, Kim here, Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. We are continuing our exploration of Nicola's disappearance. She was last seen on January 27th, 2023. And uh, she's a 45 year old mom, mortgage advisor. She's, you know, it's just like she vanished. So it, we are exploring what may have been going on here. Now, one of the questions that was posed here, or that I'm to pose, that was suggested was, what can spirit say about whether or not her and or her partner set this up? The King of Swords. What about her walking away? Her walking away on her own. Or did this happen outside of her? Knight of Swords. Seven of Cups. Hmm. King of Swords in reverse. Um, to me is indicating that no, I'm not sensing that. Um, they did this for some sort of monetary gain. Hmm. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Nothing from this deck. I'm just going to show you all. Yeah. Karmic connection. So, mm, King of Swords, like I mentioned before, I do not feel that she or her partner did anything toward where she they are in cahoots and arranged this. Or that she's even in cahoots with arranging something like this. Um, with the King of Swords being in reverse. And I was tapping more into her in, her energies individually. We got the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Some corresponding oracle cards we got was anxiety, scared, panicked. Karmic, third party relationship or lesson. Look at this. Karmic connection. These two cards jump from two different decks. Justice and Karma. Hmm. Running towards something. Dirt. Pondering options. Seven of Cups. Missing. Choke. Now, of course, this could mean some sort of physical attack. However, it can mean choking back information. Someone who has a karmic connection with her. A connection to her is tied to why she's missing. Not so much tied to him. Okay. Hmm. So, karmic connection. You're on a like cosmic karmic collision course with one another, destined to meet. <laughs> Paths for sure will cross and and be on the same path for a long time. Who is that? Who is that? Has her pondering options. thinking but still there's a level a high level anxiety here third party indicates someone outside of her could be that perhaps small chance that maybe she arranged this with someone but I don't sense that at all I really don't someone tied to her okay let's move on to the next question 
I can sit up here and talk all day to you all about this, but we're going to move on. So, Injustice and karma. It's interesting to me. All right, I'll fix those later for the picture. Next question we have is, The CCTV cameras, why was the ones that we needed broken? You know, is this just uh, just a happenstance where it just happens to be that these cameras are inoperable? Or when did the, the one main CCTV that's in question, when did that one become inoperable? Hmm, we got the full card. Full card is associated with, for me, the timing of January 21st to February 20th. So, hmm. Could that have been last year or a magician? January. There is some, there's some energy around the CCTV. I'm going to pull from my oracle. We have the magician, the fool representing maybe the main CCTV being out during that time period in January. I'm saying this because the fool is zero. The magician is one. One would be January. She went missing January 27th. Now, the magician could be about some manipulation happening with the CCTV. We have contamination as the oracle. Allegedly. Something going on with the CCTV. Magician has different time periods associated too. So it could be that there is some element of truth, like they are, some of them just were not functioning. But a particular key CCTV um, may have been manipulated. I say that because of the contamination card, the fool card. And I also sense that there could have been. Maybe other areas that had CCTV. I'm not that well versed on where all the CCTV footage was located. That they were on inoperable cameras. I don't know, but some of them did just naturally go off. You know, like some kind of issue with them. Maybe I'm feeling like this is a persnickety system. It's not um, something that is set up right. This could mean mental health, but mm, I don't know. I don't like to go down terrible rabbit holes, but it is interesting to me. Question is about what's the CCTV footage? When did it go broke? The we have a more recent breakdown of that of key CCTV footage. And then the magician represents two time periods, May 21st to June 20th and August 21st to September 20th. So there could be cameras that went off at various times. So that's like truth. But there's also some information about something happening to the CCTV. What's the, CC, the key CCTV footage or camera? Tamper with. We have King of Wands. I do sense something going on with the CCTV. I do. The King of Wands for me affirms it. It gives me an interesting feeling. And I'll just 
pouches for fraying for now. So we want to know has her cell phone been now fingerprinted? Like has have they what have they done with the cell phone? Has it been fingerprinted? Okay. Looks like we have temperance. That's a favorable card that law enforcement, knowing that there's like world attention, they're really trying to show a balanced approach to the investigation with the temperance card. Okay. And so to our question, were they looking at fingerprinting or doing that for the cell phone, for example, seeing if anyone touched the cell phone? I would hope also maybe the harness. Why does this car keep coming out? This is interesting to me. This is making me not feel right. Okay, so the oracle cards we got is jail or imprisonment, collapse or ruin, and poison. So I do sense that evidence is starting to be actually trying to be captured. Now, you know, I don't know how much has happened or transpired with the cell phone. You know, you see this, um, this almost represents handling of the phone, moving one from one hand to another. That doesn't always bode well in terms of being able to like isolate, I guess, forensic evidence or I don't know. But nevertheless, we've got this card again and I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled. And jail or imprisonment comes up again. Is this someone with a record who's, who's doing this that they're going to hone in on? I don't know. County jail. Maybe just as symbolizing the police jailhouse or something, affirming that, yes, they are fingerprinting. They are now moving in a more, in, like, investigating all kind of different angles type of investigation. Collapse or ruin. And the poison card again. Hmm. I think what this is speaking to is the evidence being compromised, um, degraded at some to some extent. However, this card does affirm that they are trying to make good with showing investigative steps so they can be able to tell the family that they've been investigating and moving the the, the investigation forward and that they really truly are trying to they really, truly are trying to explore different ways that she could have been, you know, that her disappearance could have occurred, like exploring different options, blending, blending it all together, trying to catch their footing, um, because it feels like kind of a rough start. I know, you know, I don't know. That's what I just got that popped in my head, like a rough start. Anyways. That's a good sign, but I don't know. We'll see what comes of that. Okay. Um, I just want to know, is the red van related? I didn't know how to feel about the red van. We'll see. Is the red van related to Nicola's disappearance? Ace of Swords. I'm going to ask for clarity. Is the red van any way, shape related to Nicholas' disappearance? And, and perhaps in what capacity? To her disappearance. Have, can you all answer me this? Do you know about the red van? Did that go anywhere? Because the Ace of Swords... And the Two of Cups does indicate 
some level of, yeah, there could be at least someone who may have um, seen something, some sort of information related to her, related to two. Okay. I'm going to pull an oracle card or two just to see if there's anything. Oh, my goodness. Taxi, public transportation. Okay. So that's a vehicle. I don't know what to make of autumn, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Um... I don't know, it's kind of, I mean, it creeps. Okay. So, taxi, public transport, vehicle, tied to the situation. This little stairway into what was really going on. Someone may be um, coming forward in about a month's time, or we learn of someone who came forward in about a month's time explaining, giving a little bit more detail as it relates to a vehicle involved. We've seen that in the past readings. So could that be the red van? I don't necessarily pick out colors necessarily. We have autumn. I don't know. Kind of looks red. Um, but it could signify that autumn is of significance as it relates to the van or what's to come in this case sometimes spirit just throws these kind of cards out autumn but it could be the color we got bur buried i always mispronounce that buried something covered up or a secret being held back for a while yeah two two Outback, rural, or deserted. And this also gives me a, a greater sense to me of out, out in the area. Not really like some people may have thought she may have been taken to the mansion. I keep getting the sense that she's like outside somewhere, nearby. <sighs> So now we are going to ask about how, you know, what are the energies surrounding? Is she in the area? And if how did she leave? People want to know. I keep thinking that the foot card that came up in the opening oracle reading is speaking to initially on foot. And then we kept getting vehicle cards afterwards. But I don't sense that she's like, you know, several towns over. I feel like she's so very much close. And we've seen clues in the past readings. I'll have to go and make notes and things, but right now I'm just in the phase of doing the readings and then studying what came up, you know, later and seeing if, what additional insights. And sometimes you all see things that I miss out on or I don't see it the way you see it. But after you say it, it's like, ah, I see the, the way you connected the dots there. So that's why I appreciate you leaving comments. Um, so how, how did Nicola leave the area? I guess we could first ask, did she leave the area with clues on where she may be? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. That card came up again. Private property. That one came up in part five. No, not that many. I don't know, 
this is so interesting to me. This whole thing. So we have someone, you see how they're walking slowly. They're not on the horse. They're not riding the horse. They're walking, walking. <clears throat> walking to or from private property. at this it's like a clearing of sorts trees around a little clearing of sorts maybe with the buried I don't know it could be evidence buried or it could be god forbid some you know someone else or something else related to Nicholas disappearance we have DNA evidence I mentioned the private property card. Rule or country? Rule or country? This came up in earlier readings I've done on her case. Swamp and paperwork or paper trail. Could be that someone um, is wanting to avoid having to sludge through all the paperwork that it takes to really thoroughly investigate this case. Nevertheless, in terms of how she left, I get a sense that there is walking to a vehicle. Move not too far. Rule or country. Rule or country. Rule. Deserted. Swamp? I don't know. I have to look at the map on areas like marshy areas, swampy, swampy areas. <sighs> DNA evidence is interesting to me, as is the private property. This came up before. That seems to be at issue. We'll see if there's anything else. we're going to get some additional information. It says helper and clean, framed, innocent, clear, conscious, set up, scapegoat. Hmm. Who could be a scapegoat or this could be a setup? Someone being framed. Someone actually does have a clear, conscious surrounding her with a helper energy. Uh, maybe people who are feeling like, uh, you know, someone who's helping her maybe her sister for example like she's not involved maybe this is a nod to that or maybe um you know for those who have a question about a particular helper in nicola's life or where she was helping someone else they having a clear conscience could be that but then these other keywords pop up and i can't ignore those it's a setup and scapegoat so we can't necessarily ignore that either right because that brings brings forth some information 60 to 110 kilometers this could be how far the person um, who may be responsible allegedly is has traveled travel collectively within this 60 to 110 kilometers area or Maybe that's where they're at now, that about that length of distance. Maybe key evidence would be found somewhere um, within that radius. I don't know. I, I also am going to have to convert it to miles. Is there anything else you wish to share with us? shuffle <sighs> this is no anything else you
you wish to share with us. One to three cards, please. Northeast. Boat, body of water has something to do with it. Something to do maybe with the scapegoat. Boat, body of water. I watched something today where they were showing like the river wire, river weir, <laughs> river wire is what I'm going to call it. Um, and it doesn't look like an area where boats could necessarily travel on. So I don't know about that theory. And so maybe I'm sensing with me seeing that. Um, maybe that's telling of me needing to just say, okay, I don't, I'm not seeing that connection. Hmm. But, I mean, it is a body of water. She was near a body of water. Anything else about the men? We haven't heard much from authorities. We have arrest and caught. Well, that's good. Hope. Hmm. Yeah, so the men, I don't know. Rescued, help, retrieve, save. Something about helping, being there for someone. Um, someone being there for her. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not I'm not gonna take it further than this. Let me know what you all think about what's come up so far. I really that's what I sense. Now, I suppose this car could speak to, oh, maybe she got out of there by boat. But that this wasn't to the question. Um, oh, but let me ask this. Is the body of water have anything to do with? I'm not sensing it does, but because we got these two earth elements here. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Earth elements here. Very grounded energy, outdoor energies. We do have swamp, marshy areas, but I don't know. I'm still not sensing a huge body of water, but I can't ignore that. So let me just get one more card from the Tarot to illuminate some things. We have Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Someone someone that she saved, someone who she, who feels like they saved her. It's an interesting connection. The Knight of Cups in reverse is interesting to me too. It's saying don't believe the water situation. I don't know. I don't know. I have different feels about this combo. I do. I have to be honest. The Knight of Cups in reverse could mean no. It's not Knight in cup of Cups. Cups representing water in reverse could be like no. <laughs> but... When I see this, is it that someone is going to try to scapegoat that she fell into a body of water, a setup? <sighs> that's been, that's, I think what's frustrated people is that it feels so much like a setup. And so right now there's no evidence to contradict that. Just like there's no evidence to really contradict that she fell in the water as of yet, because there's, you know, they didn't check the entire river, right? So, I mean, there's always a possibility, but low probability, right? But still, I don't know. But this is interesting. Arrest or caught? An arrest happening or someone getting caught? All right. Well, 
that's it for now we are going to wrap up here thank you so much for watching i got to clean up these cards and take a picture and ponder some more over the messages and i look forward to hearing from you please do me a favor hit the like button on your way out as well as subscribe it'll mean a lot if you do and join over at abundant life to row get into the comment section give me your thoughts and your intuitive hits all right take care let's pray for nicola let's pray for her loved ones for their strength during this time something is amiss here related to her connected to her this that's the doorway into this i know a lot of people really are feeling a way about her partner but there's a lot more to this and it's more from her side energetically what i'm picking up on all right bye for now